This is a second part of the Sims modding guide. We shall refine blending models to match the original model. The fit model is on an object's damage state. Make sure the level is full and push the damage button. As you see, the original model shows the damage state, while the new object is still the same. It has no blending defied yet. The blending is set by moving, rotating, and scaling the vertices. We don't change topology of the object using these tools. Pick Move tool and make sure the damage is pushed. Switch object to vertices level. Toggle on the Sima transparency too. And enable snapping. I move vertices one by one and snap them to original model. The vertex will snap if it's moved close enough. Rotate the view to ensure the vertex comes close to the target when you move it. Select the vertices that would be affected by a fit model. Place the pivot helper in the middle using X hotkey. Pick the scale tool and toggle off the Y axis constraint. Click and drag to scale. The vertices are scaled horizontally only. Then move some of them horizontally. Select the vertices that would be affected by fit again. Change constraint axis to Y. Place the pivot helper in the middle again. Make sure the base to pivot option is toggled on a scale tool. Click and drag to scale. Then enable X and Y constraint axes and refine the vertices of the model. Rename object to R fit. Pick, create, copy and make sure it has no interaction mode. Click on the sleeve object. The R fit is copied. Rename it to R fat. Hide the fit models and show the fat models. Toggle the damage, on, off. You see the model doesn't match on both blend states. I refine the vertices again with the move tool and snapping enabled. It's very like I've done earlier with the fit model. Then I toggle the damage state. And refine the fat blend state.
not perfect, but fine for now. Toggle semi transparency off. Toggle off the damage state. We've created two right sleeve objects for base and fit model and for thin and fat. They are fine and ready to use. I hide the police and leave the R fat object. Use the copy tool to clone this object. Then rename it to L fat. Hide both fat objects and unhide the R fit. Click on it to clone. And rename to 2, L, fit. We have two sleeve objects for each hand now. Hide the right hand objects and show the left hand, and the base object too. Pick, modify, mirror tool, and disable its options. Leave mirror geometry only. Expand the front view. And make sure the X axis constraint is the only toggled. Click on a sleeve object. It will be mirrored on X axis, and jump to the other hand. Mirror the second sleeve too. When you expand the perspective view again, you will see the mirrored objects are flipped inside out. To flip an object, switch it to poly level. Select all polygons, then apply, modify, Flip tool to them. Deselect, and hide the left fit sleeve. Flip the visible side of the second sleeve too. In order to refine bones weight on mirrored objects, hide the police and show the skeleton. To bind both left side sleeves to the skeleton I use, Rigging, Skeleton, Bind Tool. I mark the skeleton base with M hotkey, and click on a fat sleeve object. Then do the same with the fit sleeve object. Mark. And click. Once the object is binded, hovering object will mark the binded skeleton. Set the right wrist bone as the current. You see the bone on the right hand is affecting the sleeve on the left hand. I'll quickly refine weights. Unhind the police model and respective left sleeve object. Use. Rigging, Influence, Copy Tool. Hover and click the base model. Then hover and click the sleeve object. Weightings are copied. Do the same on base and fit model, with respective sleeve object. Hide the police model. Pick the Move tool. Hover the left hand bone and move it. The left sleeve is bending properly. OK. We were almost ready. You can see the sleeve objects are still as separate parts. They have to be joined with respective police model. To merge objects use, modify, attach tool. Make sure it has no copy in its options. Hover and click on a right sleeve, then hover and click the base model. Do the same on the left sleeve. Hide the base and fit object, show the thin and fat objects and respective sleeves too. Attach them in the same order. The right is first, the left is second. Hide the skeleton. 
push the damage stay button to see that everything is right now. As you can see, we have no longer sleeve objects, they are parts of respective blend groups. To ensure the blend weights are properly balanced over the model, I applied the rigging influence normalize tool to the thin and fat object and to base and fit. Finally, I refine the normals on a sleeve joint area to make the proper smooth shading across the seam. I select the area of joint on the right hand and on the left hand. Then apply surface normals smoothing tool with a well known parameters. Apply again. When smooth is applied, it refines normal directions to make them closer to each other's. When I apply it second time, tool acts in another conditions and can smooth even more. Then smooth on a thin and fat model too. I toggle off, wireframe, outline, weight, and textures. You see, the sleeves are perfectly blended into original model, the shading is smooth and accurate. I save the scene, to be able to refine it if needed. Pick export. Make sure to select the Sims 3 WSO. And check the folder you're exporting to. I prefer to export into the other folder, thus I have an original and exported file. Export into police WSO file. Almost done. Go back to the workshop. Make sure the high level of detail model is shown. Press import button. Locate the exported file. And load it. The optimization is done by Z Modeler, but you can apply it here too. OK. Drag blend sliders to ensure that everything is fine. Well, not exactly. See this disjoint on the left sleeve of the fit model? Elbow bones are seen too, but I'll not bother on this at the moment. Revert back to Z Modeler. Toggle on the wireframe. Switch to vertices level. I don't see any disjoint. Maybe the fit model is wrong. Show the base and fit model and toggle on the damage. Yes, the disjoint is here. That's because the fit state is not fully symmetric. Fix the problem with move tool and snapping toggled on. Make sure to enable XY axis constraints. Here it goes. Fine. I toggle off the wireframe, to ensure the mesh is aligned with no gaps. Good. Export again using the recent export drop list. OK. Switch to the workshop and import the model again. It's certainly fixed now. The mod is done. Load an animation. I type, club, and pick any club dance solo animation to load. Congratulations! You've modded the sim with said modeler.